And here I have my uh, pumpkin and squash seedlings. I have them in five inch planters. This way it is easier for me. I have terrible soil, so this way they germinate best. Once they're this size, I plant them in the ground. That, oh, that one's ready. And these are smaller, but they still have like a week. We can have to go. I got corn. All that is corn. And then have, these are ready to be planted. Uh, some like these are they're not they have not germinated, but I saw some are still Germinating so I'm gonna leave them for another week And then if I don't see anything I'll take them Yeah, I think the sun got to it. Yeah, it's definitely gone this happens when the sun is too when it's too hot. I'm gonna remove the planter and then uh, when I reuse it. As I said, some of some of them are still germinating. And okay, this corn is still too small to plant. Got some more over here. These are ready. They're pretty big, so I'm gonna plant them either today or tomorrow. And I got some smaller ones. These are have not germinated yet. And uh, those are almost ready. I also got uh, some tomatoes, peppers. On peppers, what I do when they're this about this size, this size I uh, transfer them to five gallon pots like this. And I plant three or four plants, and then they produce here because I have terrible soil, so I'll fertilize them and I get more peppers that way. And for uh, tomatoes, I plant them in the uh, 15 gallon pots like this. And uh, they do produce that way. There's another one. I just need to fertilize them and use potting soil because here uh, my soil, as I said, is not good. And then uh, let's see, I have some uh, thyme here. need to remove some of those weeds this one is fine with the soil I have well, I just to kill a lot of plants with potting soil but with the native soil they are thriving so I hope you liked the video if you liked it I invite you to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos like this plants from the garden thank you for watching